What's up guys, today we've got the Digital Photo Tree Frog, which isn't only a light, but it's also a USB power bank. It's uh, very simple to use, it's waterproof, and it has a bunch of cool accessories included in the kit, so let's take a look. The light has three modes, CCT, which lets you choose a color temperature between 2500 Kelvin to 8500 Kelvin, HSI, which allows you to choose any hue, saturation, and intensity, as well as a few effects modes. The dimming of the light and changing other settings uh, does take a little bit of time just because we have a lot of buttons around it, there are no dials and that's kind of to help with the waterproofing. The build quality is really good, the light constructions feel solid, it's all metal um, so there's no flex to the light. The front panel is plastic so you just want to make sure you don't drop it on the front panel. Other than that it's super sturdy especially with its rubber casing around it. I put these lights underwater for 40 minutes and they were all good, so you can use them on a super rainy day with no worries. But I wouldn't quickly submerge them underwater as this waterproof casing is a little bit stretchable, so I would imagine if you really slam this light hard into the water, the water might possibly get in. The buttons should be okay, um, it's the USB-C port that you need to watch out for. It does have this little shell that's kind of separated from the rest, so even if this shell lifts up, this part kind of stays in, so it should be all good. Just want to be mindful of that when you're putting these lights underwater. If you need lights that have really robust waterproofing, definitely check out Digital Photos tube lights. They have different sizes, the P200, the P120, as well as the recently released P8 tubes. They are nice and bright, have Bluetooth control as well as remote control. Definitely check them out. Back to the tree frog lights, I was really impressed by all the accessories that were included in the box. The light has a nice carrying case, inside we get a mini tripod, also a mini ball head which you can either use on your camera by mounting it on a hot shoe mount or straight onto the mini tripod. We get an anti-loss string, two USB cables, one is a USB-C cable for charging the light and the other is a USB-C adapter which will adapt USB-C out port on the light for using the light as a power bank. I just connect the USB cable to my phone and I'm able to charge it straight away. A diffuser as well as a honeycomb are also included. The diffuser is very soft which is great but it does lower the maximum output of the light quite a bit. Unfortunately using the honeycomb by itself isn't really effective because you'll see LED separation and individual LED shadows because the light itself does not have any diffusion. So I would only use the honeycomb together with the diffuser. I wouldn't use this light below 10% as it does seem to flicker in HSI mode. I also wouldn't lower the saturation to around zero as the color isn't pure white. It's a mix of RGB LEDs which makes the white look a bit blue. The back of the light is magnetic so you can attach it to any metal surface. This can be super handy when mounting the light on set. When using the magnets you won't be able to use any other accessories. I did a few battery tests with these lights. I've got two hours in CCT mode at 6000 Kelvin at 100% brightness. When I had the light set to HSI mode on full power set to red color, it lasted two hours and 25 minutes and set to green color, it lasted one and a half hours. So the HSI really depends from which color you're using, but the light will roughly give you around two hours on full power. If you guys like this light, check out the links down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. My bop and unlike me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop, shit ain't gon' feed you